Hello again everybody and welcome to another edition of On the Range in the HNC Warthog and today is going to be a little bit different. It's not so much a tutorial as just testing a theory. There was a post on one of the internet forums about some inconsistency in CCIP deliveries using the Mark 82 Air. Inconsistency in results and I just wanted to come up real quick and test that out. So I'm going to set up for a CCIP release. I have four Mark 82 Airs. So I'll just go to the profile and make some edits real quick. Okay, I'll do a ripple, single, two bombs, 75 foot spacing, uh, desired time of fall, I'll go for 5.4. I'm just going off of sort of a, uh, like a standard, uh, standard setup. I'll get to all this once I get into a, an actual tutorial, which apparently I need. Did I not go 5.4? Yes, I did. Okay. Change settings. I'll make that my high drag time of fall. Okay, that's good enough. I could do some more tweaking here, but that'll give me what I want. I just want to do some a couple of CCIP deliveries on this smaller target right out here to my left. Okay, so let me select the profile real quick, and we'll get started. Okay, CCIP, that's got the profile called up. And one more thing I'll do real quick is, while I'm thinking about it, I'll put my pipper down to 152 mils. This will give me, if I do this correctly, hit all the right setup on this, when I roll out and start tracking the target, I can expect it to be at 152 mils, assuming that I got the rest of it correct, the aim-off point, the altitude, and the whole nine yards. Okay, so I'll come around, and I'm going to do this from 2,900 feet, releasing at about uh, anywhere from 8 to 1,000 feet, no lower than 800, 800 feet, and I want to roll in at about one mile from the target. So. Still got a little ways to go. I'll come back once I get this setup cleaned up and I'm ready to roll in. So, see you in a second. Okay, so approaching the target, looking for 2,900 feet. You're just going to line up almost, not really offset to the target, just so that I can roll in, dive at 20 degrees, pickle off my bombs. Hopefully, I get to track it at some point during this setup and see how it goes. I'm not worried about accuracy. I just want to see how the bombs fall. Okay, one mile rolling in. Okay, aim off point, roll out. Okay, two came off, that'll be left and long, but let's see how this is going to work. Okay, two fell, they were set for 75 foot spacing. That looked like a little bit more than 75 feet to me, but they were in line. Uh, that doesn't seem that unreasonable. So let me come back around, set up on the racetrack pattern here, roll in one more time, and see how the next pair does. Okay, coming back around, descending slightly so that I can come in from 2,900 feet. Looking for one mile, then I'll roll in, 20 degree dive, and hopefully get a little bit better alignment this time. Oh, I'm a little low. Okay, 1.5 miles. Okay, 27. 28, one mile, rolling in. Okay, aim off point, roll out. Pull up, a little better. Okay, release. Okay, let's see how that does. Well, that is not exactly what I was expecting. One was short left, one was just a little long. I could buy the long one. I don't know if I could necessarily by the short lift. That was just a little bit uh, unexpected, and that's by no means to say that that's wrong. I like that there's a little bit of dispersion built into this, apparently. So, there is a little bit of inconsistency. I mean, this is not what I was expecting to see, uh, but I'm not sure if I dislike it or not. You know, I I can buy that as far as inconsistency on a Mark 82 Air. But then again, ah, who knows? Well, anyway, Myth confirmed, there is a little bit of inconsistency, something that I would not have expected out of the Mark 82 errors in DCS, but, okay, I guess the uh, this is always going to be a debate, so I'm interested to see the rest of the discussion on the forums, but there you have it, and discuss away, and I'll see you next time. Thanks again.